Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Markport, brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Thursday, May 30th. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. We do got uh, some important data coming up on the economic calendar, so let's jump right into it. We'll start off with the weekly jobless claims. So last week's uh, numbers came in at 212. It was actually revised 1,000 higher. It was uh, initially came in at 211 last week, um, and then they revised it this week at 212. So not still in the same range, very low numbers here. Forecast was uh, for 215,000, and it came in at 215,000 for this week. So, uh, of course, these are always last week's numbers here. But, uh, again, uh, still very low numbers here, which is obviously a very good sign here. Now, we also got the second revision for the GDP uh, for the first quarter, which we had a kind of a surprise. Everybody was kind of surprised that we had a 3.2, which was a pretty hot number there. Uh, 3% was a forecast. It was supposed to dip down to 3%, and it did dip a little bit, but to 3.1%. Now, our final revision will come out in June, so we'll see that coming up here in, um, of course, in June, we'll see the final number for uh, the first quarter. But so far, so very good. We haven't seen this in the first quarter for a long time. We've been seeing some pretty low numbers of late. A lot of it was uh, attributed to the weather. So, again, uh, so far, a good start to 2019. Let's jump ahead here to the headline news. Stock market's up a little bit. Uh, it's kind of... You know, what's in spooking the news, of course, we've been hearing a lot about the U.S.-China uh, pact there uh, that's, uh, that's going back and forth with the tensions kind of escalating a little bit. Yes, there had to be news about uh, China considering restricting um, rare mineral uh, minerals uh, sales to U.S. Uh, because, and what that is, is basically those are used to create the microchips for mo mobile phones, computers, stuff like that. Are, a lot of things are daily use. So they're threatening to uh, restrict the sales to U.S. Uh, today, basically, their uh, foreign minister was saying that along the lines that uh, they don't want a trade war, but they're not afraid to have a trade war. So, uh, again, some more rhetoric that's being t taken on both sides here. Take it for what it is. Uh, I, 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 eventually, obviously, I think it'll have to be rectified between the two countries. Uh, they're too important to one another. They need one another. Uh, so it does more damage than good, uh, the trade uh, a trade war escalating. So in any ways, at some point, they'll probably get back to the table. As when that may take place, we're not really certain. But as a result, we've been seeing a lot of, uh, uh, another thing that's been on the investors' mind is a global slowdown. We'll get a little bit more information to see how this is affecting China with their PMI coming out here soon. We'll probably get that tomorrow's n numbers, but, uh, uh, but that's something we're going to see. But overall, again, the uh, economy, is, you know, they're seeing overall numbers coming in as a global economy is slowing down again. It's kind of escalating. With this tensions with uh, China, it's pushed the yields down much further and then further make us into a further inverted yield curve, uh, which, again, is typically a uh, sign of a recession coming ahead. So, again, a lot of people have been projecting at some point we'll probably reach a uh, recession. Uh, we'll probably... If it happens, most likely it'll be next year. Uh, personally, I think if we have one, it could be, you know, it depends on the effects of the China, but it could be a mild one here for this. We're just seeing a lot of good things happening with jobs and everything else. Uh, again, we'll have kind of, if those stay pl in place, uh, you know, it, it could be a kind of a soft one that we experience here. So let's see how this is affecting the bond market today. Uh, there's no change. There's no, you know, it's not moving. It's unchanged from yesterday. So, again, for the most part, we're going kind of a sideways pattern. We're not seeing, uh, you know, considering that we've been seeing the yields drop a bit, we're not really seeing a whole lot of a movement on the uh, mortgage rates here. Um, again, so as you can see here, mortgage rate uh, yields did uh, climb up a little bit. Yesterday we were talking about 2.22. Today we're at 2.27. So yields uh, did rebound a little bit uh, from yesterday's low. Uh, so, which, you know, again, uh, doesn't really, hasn't hurt or uh, really affected much with the mortgage-backed securities here, or which would be mortgage rates. All right, folks, uh, that's called for a wrap. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll look forward to see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.